Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this really fun 3D printed yo-yo. I started by doing a bit of research on yo-yos. I then created a sketch of what I want the yo-yo to look like. There are three essential things I need to put into consideration if I'm to design a really good 3D printed yo-yo. For the yo-yo to spin well at the end of the string, there needs to be a bearing. I could buy a yo-yo bearing, but I want this to be a fully 3D printed yo-yo, something you can quickly print and put together without having to buy anything. So I designed a 3D printed equivalent. It won't be as good as an actual yo-yo bearing but it should work well enough. Second is weight. Having weighted sides on the yo-yo helps to produce more angular momentum. In other words, spin faster. For this, I'm going to be using knots to provide the weight around the edges of the yo-yo, kind of like a fidget spinner. The third is response pad. This is actually the most important part of a responsive yo-yo. The response pad is what creates the necessary friction in between the two sides of the yo-yo. This friction helps to start a spin when you throw the yo-yo and also engages the string when you tug on it to return the yo-yo to your hands. Hot glue is actually perfect for this, but I also designed a 3D printable equivalent as well. Here I have all the parts printed out. I printed most of the parts with grey color PLA. I also printed my logo in this Noctilucent Blue PLA. The filament glows in the dark and I thought it'd be really cool to have that on the sides of the yo-yo. All the small parts were printed with 100% infill and the larger parts were printed with 50. This is the response pad I designed. I'm hoping the gear-like profile will help it grab onto the rope more easily. I'm going to assemble the yo-yo with this first and test how well it works before swapping it for hot glue.
After testing the UU for about 30 minutes, I can see the 3D printed response pad works quite well. Not smoothly though, and also not all the time. Sometimes the UU just slips, and no matter how hard you tug on the string, the UU won't return. So, I removed it and applied some hot glue in place of the 3D printed response pad. And it worked flawlessly. I put a lot of thought into this design. How much thought? This much. So I'm really happy with how well it turned out. The STL files will be on Thingiverse and I'll have a link in the video description. Thanks for watching and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also consider subscribing to the channel to see coming videos.